Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome to another tutorial of DevStuck. I want to make a very big appreciation to you guys. I told you we can make it to 1000 views on that previous video on game development without coding. I'm going to make a game. I'm going to teach you how to make a FPS game without coding. We're going to have enemy shooting and you know, scene restarts. Alright, so let's dive in. Right, as you can see, I've opened Copper Cube already. Yeah, this, yeah, it is. this is Copper Cube. So what we need to do right now is just select open an example app, click OK. So this is gonna bring a boiler plate for us, a template for us to be able to edit. We don't need to start building everything from scratch. Then I'm gonna select this first person shooter. I'm gonna hit OK. Right, so it's gonna build that up for us. Alright, so this is it right here. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna save this in by pressing Ctrl S okay it's loading all right so i'm gonna save this in as uh uh my game all right so i'm gonna save this at the document all right save all right so it's saved already you can see it right here so i want to show you something what you're gonna be building right now so I'm gonna open the recent. This is test, All right? So I'm gonna open this file. Uh, okay. Looks like I opened the wrong file. I think it's this. All right. So this is what we're gonna be doing. Now I have to keep to publish. Ah, shit. I made a mistake. Hmm. Instead, this is creating the APK file. Alright, so this is not what I want to do. Alright, so hold on. Then let me just check for it. Uh, uh, I can't seem to find it, but you know, let's just build it. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna be building. Alright, right. So this is what we have right here, the sample scene. So if I should go ahead and publish this for Windows and play, you're gonna see what it's gonna do. So this is a basic movement. You can see the basic movement is not shooting yet. So what am I gonna do? The first thing I'm gonna do is just come over to this place. Uh, yeah, we're gonna come over here. Sorry. Okay, come over to curate. We are gonna create a sphere. Okay, so this is created there. What we're gonna do is just not this. We're gonna resize this. So we go to scale, resize this. I can see it has been resized already. So make sure you you save when you keep doing this. All right. So after you've done that, you're saving. Then you click on this pistol and so you go to my um, behavior. Now I can come here then do game behavior. This is a game actor with health. All right, so this one is gonna be this is the player. All right, so this is gonna be the player. Then the next thing I need to do is just come here and object or person control by a keyboard. So uh, no, not this. Sorry gonna come here yeah so when a key is pressed I'm gonna click this so we wanna use the key uh, let's look for key space All right so we're gonna use key space so so what action are we gonna give it so let's just go back there then we're gonna do a uh, special no it is there there's gonna be shoot so Directly, it use the same. So, what are we gonna use? Use our bullets. We are gonna use this. This stuff we created here. So, okay. Then click OK. Then let's run this. We're gonna see what is going to happen. So, 
So this is it. So no matter it's end part. Uh, okay, sorry, space. I was getting oh, so they are conflicting. You can see it's, it's shooting, but they are conflicting. So I need to change it from space to let's use the enter key. So when I hit play, all right. So this is it. So when I hit enter key, you can see it's shooting with the bullet we created. So this is actually shooting. You can see. So as you can see, the enemy has stopped, meaning there's no health in the enemy life. But in a better way, we can do this in a very very easy way. So let's go to the soldier. The soldier one. This is okay, walking along the path. This is the head here. Right, so the tag is gonna be shooter. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the gun pistol one again. Let's give it uh, let's give it a tag so this tag is gonna be player just like unity when you give your player a tag this guy is gonna be player then come to the soldier then go down then attack any player with the tag this is attack any player with the tag so this is gonna be player so meaning anywhere he sees the player he's gonna attack it so let's play this again you're gonna see he's gonna attack all right So let me go down now if you should see me now you can see you can see he's doing the attack animation you can see but it's not corresponding because it, this is just to walk along the path so let's just make this stand still all right so running around this if you should stay in a position then i'm gonna see what he's gonna do so is actually standing there now you can see this is the enemy shooting you can see he's actually shooting at the player but no effect we're gonna do that later all right so what we need to do is just come back to the pistol one then go to attributes yes then let's come back to this animation uh hmm. Animation, how to show you some things. Okay, edit. All right, now you can see this is our play animation. I do. So we can see it's playing all. We don't want it to be playing everything all together. So we are gonna just put idle. All right. So I'm gonna set default to idle. So I'm gonna click that. Just come back here. Set this to idle. Then the behavior when the key is pressed. Then. I want to add another thing all right so when a key is pressed let me add another ac action plus then this to change the animation so this to change the animation to uh, animation of this to shoot all right so okay when i play this I can see we have the idle animation but when i click enter you can see it's shooting but i stop so what do we need to do we just need to come over here again set animation then we have to loop all right so run this so when we run this now when we run this now you can see by click shooting it's shooting it's shooting it's shooting now now for this part one so what we need to do lastly is just Come right to this soldier one then game actor then action on die add then what we're gonna do is just special then uh, uh no now we can fill the whole screen make it black so when the action is finished when it has faded what should we do we should just We should restart the screen we should restart the scene okay okay so when i run this so for you to know that it play for, for you to know the enemy is dead when his life is less than 100 so we can go right here it's low right so you can see it's already running right here so if i just head over to the enemy then shoot 
you can see the screen has started again all right so in the next tutorial we're gonna be looking at how to stop that bug then how to make what how to make the enemy attack the player for away make the health to reduce them or where they make the enemy the actor you know die then restart the screen all right so thank you for watching this video. don't forget to hit the like, like button subscribe comment and see you next time thanks